Hey everybody, so you've all asked and it's now time for us to give the great reveal, the tour of the 2021 Integra Coach Ethos 20T. There's two models of these. This is the 20T. This one is for sale uh, at dealerships across the country. The other model, I believe they are still working on. But this model, as you will see once we get inside and show you, is the split bed that forms into the king bed or a dinette. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start here on the outside of the Ethos, give you an exterior uh, tour, just some of the features, just a basic uh, outline of what it, what it has. And then inside we'll do a little bit more detail. So the Ethos is on the Ram ProMaster 3500 chassis and it has a 3.6 liter V6. Uh, we still have our dealer tags on it, so we have that information right here. Uh, just come this way, show you some of the out, outside features. You have a little step up by the front door. That's handy. Um, to be honest, if it, this was us designing the van, we'd probably do the uh, fold-out step-ups. These can get a little slick, so a heads up on that. Probably throw some grip tape at some point on those. Right here you have your propane uh, shutoff and fill valve. So ours is actually reversed. Um, so I have to take that apart or have them take it apart when we bring it back and flip that. So even though it says on right now, it's not on, it's off, it's in reverse. <clears throat> right here we have a really cool uh, storage tube for our black tank hose. So this uh, doesn't come on all of the uh, Class B vans. So that's really handy. And this is the exhaust uh, for our propane generator. You have a city water connector right here. Here is your Truma system. You definitely want to get a Class B with the Truma system. And this is all your standard, uh, pretty much on every Class B. You have your 30 amp hookup, your your satellite live TV hookup. Right here is a, this is handy, you want this. This is a flush valve. Basically, throw your water into it and flush out your tank, your black water and gray water once after you've emptied it. So after you've dumped it. So this helps keep everything fresh and clean. Right here, just normal hookup as you can see. And then we have next to that, extra solar. So this is handy because as you can, uh, I guess, pan out here, we have a 190 watt solar panel on our roof along our rack. So we have the Thule rack, which is really handy, but 190 watt go power solar panel with an integrated charge controller. So that feeds our whole system, but we can actually hook up extra, I believe up to two, maybe three. I have to get into that a little bit more. Uh, as long as we relay them, we can hook up some extra solar panels and, you know, pretty much live out in the middle of nowhere boondocking forever until we have to either dump tanks or get fresh water. So that's, that's pretty handy. And also right here, this little weird kind of looking thing is actually a button and that is for this light. So if you pull into a campsite late at night, you can hit that. Boom, you have nice LED lights to light it all up. Around here on the back, this comes standard. It is a Thule bike rack. It's made for two bikes. So that is awesome that that comes with it. We haven't used it yet, but we've messed with it. And it's uh, just a little bit higher than most, which is really, really cool because you don't have to worry about slamming your head, which is nice. Because if you open this up, it's above me. I'm six foot, so you could probably be six two and not have to worry. This does come standard with a reverse camera also right there. And uh, like most of the class B's, there is a button on our uh, entertainment system on our touch screen that you can hit just for security if you wanted to look back. But it also, of course, goes uh, when you put it in reverse, automatically comes on. Down here at the bottom, just holding tank releases for gray, black over there. So pretty standard and then you have your three pin and your seven pin hookups for towing and a 3,500 pound rated hitch system uh, that's pretty standard for a class B 
All right, so finishing off the exterior, back on the side we started on, the passenger side. Another, just standard 110 hookup. Power awning, we've put it out uh, when we purchased it, we have it since. We traveled from Albuquerque over here to St. Augustine, Florida. Never really had a chance to use it. We were staying at rest stops and and uh, whatnot, so haven't actually used it. But it has legs. Um, seems pretty decent. Honestly, unless we're boondocking out on public land, we probably won't use it that much. Uh, just because it's with winds and stuff, it's it's not going to hold up with any high winds. So it's uh, one of those things where you kind of got to pick your battles and when to use it. But it's power. It's easy. Push of a button, it comes out. And then you have two outdoor speakers, and uh, that's pretty much it for the exterior. So we're gonna move on to the inside and show you guys what that's about. So we're starting the interior tour here at the back. Figured it'd be a little bit easier just to open the rear door so you guys could see. Uh, right down here on your passenger side, you have some storage. So we have our just our 30 amp power cord, outdoor shower, and uh, just our fresh water hookup. Um, haven't used any of that yet because we traveled across the country on a quick trip to get here But that's where it's all stored away probably keep it there, but we're gonna figure it out as we go We do have uh, just some outlets right here the water pump uh, Button right here power on and off. So it's kind of Kind of in a weird spot, but easy enough to use you can access it from the inside You can your space to reach around and turn it on if you need to And then as you can see this is the wet bath so originally, we actually didn't like this uh, setup. Travados have them, and a couple others. But we discovered with the shower towards the front or in the middle that I couldn't fit in it. It was my shoulders too wide, and then I had to duck. With this, I can actually stand straight up uh, when we get inside and actually in the interior. We'll, we'll show you. I'm six foot. I can stand straight up. My head does touch just barely. So it's pretty much a six foot clearance. If you're a little bit taller, you're gonna have to bend down. Um, if you take out this right here, this wooden platform, it would probably give you half an inch to an inch. So you might be able to six one stand straight up possibly, but um, that's kind of handy and helps keep the, uh, the feet a little more dry. But you have everything right here from your toilet. It goes into your black water storage tank, your gray water storage tank, etc. Um, because this right here is your actual sink, so this will feed down into there too. It runs right through the back. You have a medicine cabinet, pretty big, good storage. And you have a curtain that when you're using it, goes all the way around on a track, keeps everything dry. Uh, because you actually here on the passenger side, above that rear storage, have a whole set of shelves, um, nice place to hang some things. Brittany has stuff hanging in there right now, the scrubs and whatnot. So it's pretty, pretty spacious to say the least. You can hang a decent amount in there. We have towels and Brittany scrubs, of course. And then you have these three, just all the same size, pretty handy. Just to store random bathroom stuff, uh, some hand towels, things like that, miscellaneous. Now we're gonna move on to the rest of the interior. So now we're in the bathroom from the inside of the van. And as you can see, I'm five foot five and I fit perfectly fine in this. I can shower, I can move around, I can do whatever I need to do. And if you need some privacy, then you have these double doors that pop out and they just slide on back like that, which is really cool. So I fit fine, Neil fits, it's really perfect for us living in this van. And so when you come out, this is our sorta kitchen, dining, bedroom, all in one. So these are two sorta twin beds and just for size here, I can lay perfect just laying down on this side. And Neil over here, this one's actually a little bit longer, so he fits a much better on this side since he's a little bit taller than I am. But that side is six foot exactly. This side is about six foot three to six five, 
haven't measured it but I just figured I'd throw those numbers in that way people could actually get a good feel so I can fit on this side but my head touches my feet touch this side I have you know a few inches but the coolest part about this is that it turns into a complete king size bed and it's really easy to do the first thing you have to do is just come under here and take these little black levers and just hook them across there's three of these total that come across so right down here this is the table that once you pull out those black support bars between the beds all it does is sit right on top of it and once you have that on there you take out this right here and as you can see this folds out and when it's all said and done this fits right in the middle and creates an entire king size bed which is really cool and once you're done it's really easy it only takes us about a minute to pick it up and everything just goes back in place the black support bars just go back in on this side and the table hooks in right beneath there so done everything's all perfect again if you want to use that table while you're eating then as you can see right here in the middle we've got two bars that will go and hook in right there and the table just sits right on top of it. So then you have plenty of seating. And in here, we have shoes stored, but the bars are also down there. And those bars are collapsible, so you can change just the height once you hook them into here. So they just basically screw in and snap in. And then you can adjust the height for your table. And another thing that people don't consider is if you are going to have any extra passengers with you when you're driving. So if you look over on this side, you can see this actually pulls up right here and underneath we've got seat belts. So those seat belts come up and they fit right through these slats right here. This just pushes in and you can sit two extra people in this. So you can have a total of four people, including the driver, when you're in this van. So that's really awesome because a lot of vans, you can only have two people. There is also some extra storage on each side of these beds. And these right here, you can actually slide in and have your iPad set up. We actually had no idea what those were when we were first looking at this van, but that's an extra little feature that you can have as well. We also have our Truma hot water heater right here. So this is really nice because you can actually set a time and your water will be nice and hot for you when you want to take a shower. This is an extra little remote, I like to call it. So we can turn on the lights, have our awning out, and it actually unclicks and comes right off so we can carry it with us if we want to. So that's really cool. We have lights underneath each bed. And if you just click it, it turns into a blue light, which is nice at nighttime. If you hold it down, it turns to a nice regular light. We also have night blinds on each of these windows and they just pull right down and cover everything. So it's really easy. And they pull back up just like that. We have the Euro style cabinets, which are really becoming the new trending thing in all of the vans. And they're super easy. There's just a little button underneath that you hold and they open right up. And when you put it down, it just clicks in. So when you're driving, these cabinets are completely locked. So you don't have to worry about your stuff flying all over the place. And we have them all along this side and all along the other side and it leads all the way up and into our kitchen in the front so we have a pretty nice kitchen and the first thing that i'll talk about is the countertop 
so we have a sink that's actually pretty deep and this is one of the things I like the most about our van is it's all compact in one so this actually comes out and you can see our sink is actually pretty deep this will just fold over like this when you need to turn the water on and in here you have a cutting board this is actually a drying rack that hooks up right onto here so you can put silverware and such in there after you wash it and you have an extra little tub So right next to the sink, this is our two burner propane stove. And it's actually a pretty good size, so we can do some good cooking in here. And it's a Dometic cooktop, and it does have the push button start, or push button ignite, so you don't have to use a match or a lighter, whatnot. And another thing that's sort of hidden, right over here in the corner, you just push this, pop it up and you've got two outlets right here and two USB ports which is really handy so you never have to worry about any of your appliances not being able to be plugged in while you're in your van. Down here we have a convection microwave. Pretty good size so we can cook a little personal pizza whatever we really need. It's really the perfect size for two people. Beneath that, we have two more drawers. And those pull out pretty good. And all of our drawers, they click in and they lock, so you don't have to worry about these pulling out and things going everywhere when you're driving your van. Over here, we have a Norcold refrigerator and freezer. So that opens up. And yeah, we can store a good few days of food in here. And also over here, you have an extra space that you can use. Or this chair can also swivel right around so you can have an extra little space to eat if you just want to eat in the front of the van. So a lot of people are probably wondering what is this thing that's on the edge of our van right here? Well, it's pretty nifty. Not only do you have a grab handle if you need a little help getting into our van, but this opens up at the top, pulls right out, and you have an awesome little workspace to use. So that passenger seat also swivels all the way around. So you can use it to eat, to work, whatever you feel like doing at that time. And it just lifts and stores right back into there. And if you have a computer and you need to charge something, there's actually, once again, another two outlets right here and two USB chargers as well. And why don't you show them this nifty uh, screen door. Oh yes, so we can have airflow coming through here all the way through our van because we can just take this, pull it all the way across, and bam, no bugs are getting in our van. So covering the electrical, the components, the master control panel, things like that. This right here is our main power switch. As you can see, it's lit up red. It means it's on. If I hit this up, it turns it off. Um, this needs to be on in order to have power through the whole RV and conveniently located right next to that, they have a fire extinguisher. That's just probably the best placement for it. And also being that this is the main component of the electrical system and the electrical is located underneath the two beds. It's probably the best spot. But uh, now I will show you the master control panel, the touchscreen panel, and uh, how that works. All right, guys, so this is our basically control panel, control center, whatever you want to call it. It's the master control. Runs everything in here, shows you all your information. This is the home screen right here. You do have a, uh, they call it the light master. It's the master light switch. Hit off, as you can see, it just got dark in here. On. That basically controls all the lights on and off. 
Um, and if I go down here to this next screen, this is the actual light screen. You do the same thing with the exterior, master on and off. Then you have individual sections. So your main ceiling, your kitchen overheads, uh, your bunk accent, which is above the cab, and then your bath. And then outside we have the security light, the awning light, and the step light. So those are all individual controls or master switches. Back here on the home screen, you can see the current temperature inside. You can see the tanks, uh, basically what their capacity is, how full they are, or whatnot. As you can, ours has zero percent on fresh gray or black because when we got it, it was still really cold in New Mexico. We were having a cold streak there, very unusual weather uh, for this time of the year. So we just had them leave it winterized, and then we got here, and it's finally warming up. Uh, so we're gonna get that, uh, you know, flushed out get some fresh water uh, into the tank, but we do have 49% uh, propane RLP. So we we have that there, which is good at least, so we could uh, you know, heat up the place if we needed to, uh, use the burners, things like that. We have black tank heater, gray tank heater, and then we do have control right here for our water pump. Uh, so we, you can use this to turn that water pump on. As you said, remember, it was in the back, so it was kind of a weird spot. So it's nice that this control panel has that. And then right down here at the bottom, you can see the, the voltage, they call it the house. That's the main section of the RV, that's the battery power. So that's uh, showing what we actually have in there for a charge. And then the chassis, of course, is the actual van's battery. This is really cool because we have solar, it charges the house battery. And we also have charge coming from the alternator when we're driving the van. Um, or we can turn on the generator, which is right here on the bottom. You just hit stop, it primes it, and then you hit the start button, starts it up. That can also charge our battery, keep it, you know, topped up, fresh, and can run anything. So we can run our AC, fridge, microwave, all that off the generator uh, with our inverter system. Um, going down right here, this is the controls for they call it the climate section, AC, or bathroom fan. We can turn on right here. This does not control the heat. As Brittany was showing over the bed, that's where the Truman system is. That controls our heater and hot water heater. Right here is just a view of the setup of the van. Um, but this basically is kind of a useless screen to be completely honest. It's just for the awning to send it, you know, send it out or retract it back in. Uh, kind of a weird screen. You would think maybe there'd be some controls for individual sections or something right there. But I'm thinking maybe in an update or something they'll they'll uh, do something with this because this is systems used in a lot of uh, higher end RVs because this system everybody loves. So this section normally controls the slides and awnings. For us, we just have an awning. We don't have any slides. But I'm thinking eventually, since this is the first year of the Ethos, they may add some other controls into this. Bottom section right here is the gear or the settings. So you can adjust your screen brightness, you can put it into cleaning mode, adjust your time, and then you can actually go to this mobile app button. There is an app for this, so you can control everything from your phone. So it's the same screen on your phone, you control everything. This is just to set that mobile app up, it's a security feature. And then this is network diagnostics. So if you have any faulty systems, anything like that, click that, it'll let you know what the faults are any issues and then if you had to bring it into the shop or whatnot you have those issues listed right there they can check it out so as our control panel master screen master control whatever you guys want to call it this thing is awesome it gives us everything we need the only downfall about this is you see we can see what our house battery is at that's awesome we know we're good but we cannot see the input coming into the battery from the solar panel system. So I actually contacted GoPower, I'm waiting on a response from them uh, because they have an app, a Bluetooth app, but I don't know how it works with this system. It's not showing up when I try to search for the system. Uh, this is the one issue, one issue we have really so far um, with this. And it, it, this system's awesome. The solar works, we can, see that it's you know char charged right there we can see you know when it's at full charge or whatnot when we've been in the sun or obviously when we've been driving and we're getting power from the alternator but we cannot actually look in and see what the solar system is 
giving us, so what it's bringing in. And that's something I would like to see. That way I can kind of, uh, I guess, plan if we're going to boondock or whatnot based off certain areas we were, how much power we got, time of the year, etc. Anybody that boondocks knows those things are essential. So I'm hoping it's like a simple, easy thing. And then for some reason, it's just user error and I'm not being able to connect it. If not, we may have to put in a separate charge controller because as I stated on the outside tour, uh, this is an integrated charge controller. And normally you'll see on most RVs that they don't have that integrated one. They have a separate one. It's right here. Or it's, you know, in the back. Uh, and then you can see all that information. But I'm thinking eventually it will be in here maybe, or we just gotta use the Bluetooth app if they can give me the fix for that. But for for this, that pretty much covers everything uh, for, for the actual master control system. So that about wraps up our van tour of our 2021 Integra Ethos 20T. If you have any specific questions about anything on the inside or the outside of our van, just drop it below in the comments and we'll get back to you on those. And guys, please give this video a like um, if you enjoyed it or just to support us, we'd appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't. And like Brittany said in the comments, any questions we'll get back to you uh, as quick as possible and then remember in the description we are going to leave some information on tank sizes from the freshwater black gray propane tank and whatnot and also leave uh, just a, a link to the actual integra page in there so you guys can go check out the 20t or any other products they have so thanks for watching guys bye guys